in the middle of the urban jungle, Derek Ng is growing his own vegetables. On this small plot of land, his produce ranges from Chinese spinach to rock melons. It's a key source of ingredients for his family's food business. And Derek says he's been able to save up to 30% in costs thanks to this farm. Most of our food is all import from our neighboring country as well, even further away. What I do is, instead of me buying all the raw cost material to sustain my agriculture, I go around recycling the material and keep my cost low and at the same time producing veggie that is quality for the consumer at a lower price. Well, for everyday shopping though, this kind of market is where local Singaporeans come to buy their fruit and vegetables. Products here are much cheaper, but still most of the food is imported. So prices fluctuate depending on what's happening elsewhere in the world. And that can have a real impact on shoppers here, especially low-income families who are estimated to spend almost half of their monthly income on food. During the last food price crisis in 2008, surging costs caused riots across the Middle East and Northern Africa. Here in Singapore, the cost of living jumped 6.5%, compared to a rise of just over 2% in 2007. A similar situation is unfolding now. Prices for wheat have already risen 25% this year, while maize rose 13%, and dairy prices went up by 7% just last month. At this food center, Derek prepares fish soup with his homegrown vegetables. He hopes to start his own fish farm too. But with limited land space in the city-state, not many can do the same. And if food prices rise even higher, it will be hard for even residents of this rich nation to swallow. Marie Koi, BBC News, Singapore.